Hi guys, and welcome once again to Curated Logic, where we try and up your brain game. Today, I am doing my first puzzle game review of the year. I decided in order to ease myself into the new year, I would choose a shorter game, and I came across one that seemed to fit the bill while scouring the Nintendo shop. The game I ended up playing was Him and Her, produced by Qbyte Interactive. A cute little puzzle platformer, Him and Her has a number of things going for it, but in the end, it was a few simple things that didn't leave me loving my experience. In Him and Her, you play the eponymous Him, trying to find your way in each level to the eponymous Her. To do this in each level, you are able to defy gravity by moving around the surfaces of the levels, each turning into your floor as you move onto it from an adjoining surface. The surfaces are sometimes adorned with gaps, thorns or little balls of death, all of which can mean mistiming a jump will lead to your death and the starting over of the level. There are currently 34 levels in total and two difficulties, easy and hard. I played both to see the differences between difficulties, but we'll look at them as one rather than separately. First, I was looking for a short game and I got one. On hard, this game only took me just over an hour to complete. Whilst usually this would not be long enough for me, to be honest, I didn't really feel the desire to keep on playing. This is not because I didn't feel tested by the game or that there were not elements of enjoyment in the game, but as I said at the beginning, there were just a few little things I found frustrating that ended up overshadowing everything else. The first is only an issue on easy. When you are playing on easy, the game allows you to zoom out and to have a look at the wider picture. This is not allowed in hard as to make the game more difficult. Sometimes on easy, this zooming out shows the whole level, whilst other times the level is too big and you have to move the joystick to see the rest of the level. The issue is that you can only explore the scene left and right, not up and down. Because you are able to change the orientation of each level by moving onto a new surface, sometimes the boundaries of a level do not overflow left and right, but they overflow up and down. And not being able to explore it zoomed out is frustrating. I assume this was a deliberate design choice by the creators rather than an oversight, but to me, it doesn't make sense. It adds unnecessary frustration, makes the game feel stilted, and doesn't really add anything substantial to the challenge of the game, it just prolongs it. This is also how I felt about the movement of him. Whilst I really enjoyed to be able to immediately move onto an adjoining surface initially, as I played more I began to feel like this movement around a corner happened a little preemptively when you were trying to jump near the end of a ledge. Unlike other games I have played, the timing just felt off here. This did, of course, add to the challenge of the game, and I understand that it became just a matter of me realigning my timing, but this was just another thing that felt a little off kilter, and not in a challenging way that I enjoyed. The music and the graphics of the game are both fine, nothing spectacular, but there is a cute little kitschiness to them that can be enjoyable. Whilst the music on a loop does become grating quite quickly, you can mute it, so this is really not a problem. Also not a problem is the price. Whilst I can't say that I love the game, I paid $1.50 for it, so really I have no complaints. It is definitely worth more than what I paid for it, and the cost being so low made the frustrations I had with the game mostly disappear. But it still left me disappointed that this game, which has a nice premise, and has features that I really did enjoy and haven't seen that much before, had not been further refined, as it is not one that I will think back on, and not one I will want to return to. So in the end, I give him and her a 6 out of 10. There were definite positives to the game, and I was challenged at points, but despite the price, the little issues I encountered did not warrant me giving it a higher score.
If you want to continue upping your brain game, please follow Curator Logic on any of the socials listed above and below, each which focus on a different way to test your brain, or you can support these videos and everything we are creating through Patreon, which is also listed above and below. I hope wherever you guys are in the world, you are keeping safe and happy. Until next time, keep upping your brain game and have fun. See ya.